Yo guys, what is up? It is <gasps> Mushroom Gecko here, and welcome back to another Redstone Commander in Minecraft Bedrock. So, why am I in Minecraft Bedrock, you may be asking? Well, you see, this is a very special video that goes out to a cool seven-year-old kid named Colin. Now, Colin is really awesome and special because he's actually really into Minecraft commands and command blocks. And he actually uh, watches a lot of these videos of all these mods and our all craft and stuff and he's like i want to make that in villa minecraft or he tries to make it in villa minecraft but it just doesn't work which is a little sad so he uh he actually saw something about rideable ravagers and he actually came up to me and uh and he he said it was a really cool thing that he that he saw and he actually pitched the idea to me of hey can you make this in regular minecraft and since he plays bedrock I'm not making this on Java today. I'm making this in Bedrock so my boy Colin can make it with me. So let's actually spawn our rideable Ravenger. So here's our boy. Here he is. Try to tame him. We tamed him. We just saw the hearts. Let's put the saddle on him and uh, let's ride him around. Nyom. Check it out. I'm riding a Ravenger. Nyom. <laughs> now it looks a little stupid and <laughs> I'll explain why in a bit. Um so yeah, we ha we have a rideable ravager which is really awesome. And uh don't just don't mind all those dying things over there. I have this command block line set up that just kills all the uh, neutral mobs like cows, pigs, chickens, uh, and some of the slimes cuz you know, they just got in the way of me making this. I'm just like, "Ah, I'm annoyed." So I just made this line <laughs> to kill them all. So, how did I get this to work in regular Minecraft? Now, this is regular Minecraft. No resource packs, no mods, no nothing. It is regular, standard, vanilla Minecraft. You can jump into a Minecraft world, get some command blocks, and make this right now. <clears throat> so, I can actually kill this guy real quick. Um, you probably saw um, how we uh, did this from the kill feed. Because I tamed my Ravenger. So let's actually start off with uh, with this command block. So this is the secret behind the whole thing. We're going to, it's just a Ravenger uh, teleported to a horse. That's pretty much all it is. So the first command is just the very simple, 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 simple command. Slash summon horse tilde tilde one tilde. So what do these three tildes mean? That means we're going to summon the horse at this command block, but we're going to summon it a block above the command block. And we do that because we don't want the horse to summon inside of the command block because that would just get messy. So here's our first command. So I summon horse at the command block, but a block above. And uh, the second one is the same exact thing except with the Ravenger. And then the third command block. Um, now this may be something that's a little unexpected. But that's okay, and I'll explain why soon. Summon armor stand. And why are we summoning an armor stand? Well, this command will tell you everything. So we're going to do this thing called an execute command, and I know this looks a little big. And this command jumps around everywhere, so I'll try to make it as simple as I can. So the execute command pretty much allows us to point at a specific mob and then do things to that. So right now we're going to execute at a horse. So we're going to do at E, so at entity, type equals horse, C equals 1. So you can probably get what type equals horse means. We're going to target every single entity that is a horse. But wait a minute. This C equals 1 is only going to target one horse. Well, what horse? Are you going to target a random horse? No. The C equals 1 targets the horse closest to the command block. Pretty cool, right? And then there's tilde 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 is just act the act this command at where the horse currently is. So then this command is TP, which is short for teleport. At E type equals Ravenger. So the Ravenger that we just summoned, we're gonna take the Ravenger within the radius of three blocks from the horse. So imagine I'm the horse, and the Ravenger is, let's say right here this block right here two blocks away from me now if the ravager was right here it'd be teleported to me pretty awesome but if it was like 
four blocks away, right, th right there, it would not be able to teleport to me because it is not within the three block radius. Well, why do you want a three block radius? Well, because we want consistency and we want things to be as close together as they can. And we don't want any of these other horses to be teleported to our Ravager. So that's why we want the horse closest to the Ravager, which is our horse that we just summoned, to be or to have the Ravager teleported to it. But you may also be asking, but wait a minute. I didn't see a horse, nor did I see an armor stand. Well, I'll explain that in these two command blocks after this. So we're going to teleport the Ravager within a radius of three blocks to wherever the horse is. So tilde, tilde, tilde means at the current position. So it's teleporting the Ravager at the current position of the horse. And then this facing tag right here is telling the game, okay, I want the Ravager to face at the armor stand. Now, why would we want it to face towards the armor stand? Well, you see, when you ride a horse, the horse faces in the direction of where you go. And you may be like, yeah, that's the horse. We want the Ravager to face the direction of the horse, not the armor stand. And you're correct. However, it's not like Java where you can just do five tildes to tell the Ravager, hey, I want this to be in the direction of the horse. It doesn't work like that in Bedrock, which is okay, because Bedrock and Java have different command block setups. So I found a way around that, which is here. So we're going to execute at the horse that we just summoned, C equals 1, so at the nearest horse at the, of the count of 1. So imagine C. Actually, did I, I forget. Did I do that in here? I did. So imagine C being count. Imagine C being short for count, so count of one. We want to execute at the type of a horse, a count of one horse. We want to count one horse. What horse? The closest horse to this command block, which is the horse that we just so happen to summon in. And we're going to execute at the, at the position of this horse, the count of the one horse, to teleport the armor stand <coughs> in front of... Of the horse and you may be asking but that's the position of the horse why can't you just do tilde 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 one well you see these carrots are relative coordinates we are going to teleport the armor stand relative to where the horse is we don't want to have the armor stand teleport always one block on the z-axis we want it to be teleported relative to the horse on the z-axis and you may be like, okay, what does that mean? Pretty much all this is doing is making the armor stand teleport one block in front of wherever the horse is. And then this, combined with this, makes the Ravager teleport to the horse and then look in the direction of the horse. Because since the armor stand is always in front of the horse, the Ravager is looking in front of the horse. Pretty cool loophole, right? So then you may be asking, what are these two things? Why can't we see our armor stand in our, in our horse then? Well, these are just simple effect commands that just make the armor stand and horse invisible. So slash effect, which is the effect command, at E, so at the entity of armor stand, invisibility, right? So the so the invisibility um, effect, 99999, which is the time. That's the time we want the... Um, the effect to last. So this many seconds, one is the amplification. So imagine that uh, if we're doing this for speed, it would be like speed one. Now, if we change this to three, it'd be like speed three. But since invisibility is invisibility, the game only sees it as amplification of one. Even if we change it to 100, it's going to still be seen as one. And then this true thing right here, makes it so the little swirl effects for invisibility does not show. So, you know, the little um, effects so in visibility, splash pose and visibility, like those, those little things right there, we don't want those to show up. We, we don't want these to constantly be shown up on our horse or our armor stand. 
up actually let's go back. <laughs> go back here um yeah so you can see these little swirls on our village here we don't want to see those we don't want people to know that we're riding a horse right we want people to think that we're riding a ravenger so i'm actually gonna drink some milk because i don't like being invisible being invisible sucks or cool. no longer invisible hello so that's what this does. This makes the armor stand infinitely invisible. Same with this. This effect command targets the closest horse with the count of one, because if we did not have this count of one, it would target every horse in the world, which is which we don't want. Because otherwise, we won't be able to find any horses in our world. So we're going to target the closest horse to the command block with invisibility of the time 99999 seconds, with the amplification of one, and we're gonna get rid of the little swirl effects. Now this true is, uh, I think, show effect particles. I think that's what the boolean is. So, or, or do not show effect particles. That's what it, do not show effect, effect particles, true. So all this is doing is just taking the closest horse, which is the one that we summoned, and giving it invisibility pretty much forever, which gives us this. Gives us a Ravenger that we can ride. Pretty nifty. And the horse can throw us off, but no worries. We can we can we can jump back on. Right? And we just saw the hearts. So we can uh take this, put it on there, and ride. Whoops. Where is our thing? Oh, there we go. <laughs> so this gets a little buggy when you go too fast because of the whole radius three thing that I was talking about earlier. And if any other horse gets closer, it's going to be really buggy as well. So that's why. So when you set this up, I recommend try to not have really any horses nearby or be in a part of your world where there are no horses. Um, so yeah, so you can ride your Ravager, because why, why would you want to ride a horse when you can ride a Ravager, right? So, and actually, I want to show you something real quick that's a little sad. If I get on this Ravager, and I'm having a good old time with my Ravager, actually what I'm going to do is, these horses are getting Come on, tame, tame, do it, tame, 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 do it, tame, do it, do it, do it. Why don't you like me? Why do you hate me? Why don't you like me? <laughs> wow, this is stubborn. This is such a stubborn Ravager. There we go. So boom. You can ride a Ravager. Whoa. What happened to our armor stand? Oh, wait. Is our armor stand being teleported to another horse? See, that's the issues I'm talking about. It's not working because stupid horses spawned in. Too close to uh to our Ravager buddy. There we go. Hmm. Where is our armor stand going? Oh, there we go. I think it's looking in the direction now. No, it's not. What's going on? Is it when I closed out of it, it's gonna... That worked. That worked. Hmm, interesting. There has to be a typo, I guess. Otherwise, oh, yeah. We don't want that to happen. So, in Bedrock, you have to be really careful with the little sticky things, the, the, the sticky keys, because we don't want certain things to happen. So, if we take away these command blocks, this is what's actually happening. And I don't know why they're not being summoned towards each other. That's really odd. I have to have messed something up. See? See what I mean? Be really careful when you're typing in these, in these commands. 
Let's kill that now. Boom. There we go. So this is all this is. It's just a Ravenger being teleported to a horse with an armor stand in front of it. And it works. So if we put a saddle on it, we can ride the Ravenger. Um, pretty nifty, huh? So yeah, that's all this is. It's just a horse with an armor stand teleported to it, with a Ravenger teleported to it. Um, and actually, I want to show you something to allow this to be a little easier to see. Slash effect at the type equals horse c equals one in visibility. Oops, no typos. Because so here's the thing about commands: if you have even one little typo, it's gonna mess the whole thing up. It will not work. You need to have everything perfect, otherwise commands will not work. It is just a fact. If you have one mistype, if you have a capital letter or a lowercase letter when you should not have a capital letter or a lowercase letter, it just will not work. And if you go too high in numbers, it also will not work. So you need to keep your numbers a little smaller than just going, ah, ha, ha, pressing 9 for everything. Nah, the game won't let you do that. Um, one true... See, it's uh, targeting this horse right now. It did not. Hmm. Unless it targeted a closer horse. Well, let's just do this one real quick. Slash effect at E type equals armor stand. Uh, invisibility. I may have just done a mistype or a misspell on the last one, which is entirely possible. 9999. One true. Boom. Oh, you know why? Because it should be set to always active instead of needs redstone. That's why it didn't work. Also, remember, you have to check these. If something isn't working, check these. Check your spelling. Check if everything is perfect. Otherwise, it will not work. So let's summon this in. And I actually want to show you guys, like I said, for the ease of use, negative one. The Ravager's looking down, but that's because I made the armor stand teleport a block in front of the horse and a block below the horse. So that's why the Ravager's looking down, looking towards where the armor stand is, and the armor stand is in the ground. So over here, <laughs> this is going to look really funny. Um, negative one. Check this out. Boom. <laughs> look at how stupid it looks. Uh, so you may be asking, why am I doing that? Well, you see, I can actually see myself riding it now, which is pretty awesome. So let's put our saddle on. And uh, we can actually see ourselves ride this. <laughs> look at it. It looks so stupid. It's so tiny. Oh, Ravagers can jump too. Yay, jumping Ravagers. <laughs> So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oops. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, Colin, if you're watching, uh, I'm going to put every command in the description, tell you how to do everything, make sure it all works correctly, and you should just be able to press this button and have it good to go. I'll also put these commands in there for you as well. It's just to kill the horse, or kill all horses, kill all ravagers, and kill all armor stands. So yeah, um, that's it for this video. Live a wonderful life on the mycelium mushroom. Have a good time in the Club Geckos. Oh, also, real quick, uh, for some reason, Bedrock on PC doesn't like to backspace correctly all the time. That's just one little point that I had to make because I had it was just really peeving me off the entire time I tried to make this when I tried to backspace something and it just didn't do it correctly. I was like, why? Why aren't you backspacing correctly? So yeah, um... Yeah, love one life on mycelium mushrooms. Have a good time in the club geckos. And keep those gems shining one. Pick them out. Boop. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Once again, comment or commands will be in the description below. How to do everything. 
So feel free to just go in there, copy and paste everything, and have your own writable rap. Also, quick little tidbit right before I go. I know I keep saying I'm going to go, but check this out. They cannot ride these in survival mode, which is very sad. <laughs> they will kill you. It is a creative exclusive thing because Bedrock does not have um, does not have team scoreboards. It does not have an option to put the Ravager on the same team as you so the Ravager doesn't hurt you. So it's really only a creative thing unless you like dying in survival. But I actually want to show you something really interesting. Check this out. Watch. Come on. Come on, buddy. Check this out. If you ride your Ravager up to a villager, it will hurt the villager. Check that out. <laughs> so if you ride into a villager, or if you ride into a village on this guy, he will kill the villagers. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Uh, that's pretty funny. So yeah. Um, yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys around.